Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be continuing on our same process of handling these four game NHL slates uh, while we still have them. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look from a, you know, an overall hand building type of view, trying to identify good plays and good stacks and things like that. And then we're going to run a sample build using SaberSim to see what we would be getting given the projections as they are right now. And of course, the most interesting thing is, is to see if, uh, see how those two different builds sort of compare with one another. And they'll give you a kind of a, a framework for, for attacking the slate. I do like these little four game slates here. Uh, you don't have to go full, full on onslaughts and things like that. Um, and you still can get somewhat different. I mean, the, this, Last night, I, I was I was fearing this was going to happen. I mean, everybody sleeps on Minnesota every single game, and they just keep getting there. Um, everybody was playing either Cal, uh, Carolina or Edmonton, and, and the Minnesota guys took it down. Um, so let's see if we can't uh, do a little bit better uh, today. And so what we're looking at, I think what we're looking at, yeah, is, is my sheets uh, right over here. And again, we're going to just try to gaze at it and just see if what, like, looks good right before we even get into it. First thing that I will notice is you have this one off here, Tyler Toffoli, who just basically lays over the field. Uh, that ownership obviously can't be the case. I mean, just, just, that's just not the way life works. You're not going to have someone with a value score of 45 points higher than the next guy and then have ownership of two and a half percent. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to, we're going to have to figure that out a little bit later. Um, but this is the way I'm kind of analyzing it. And so the first thing I do notice is these two Calgary guys right here at the top. And then I also see these two Colorado guys right here at the top, along with Landis Gog and Ranton. So the first, my first gut instinct would be that those would be the two teams that I'd want to probably target. Like the guys with the two Cal Calgary guys right at the front, and then, or the guys with the two, three, or four Colorado guys right at the front. Um, I see Giroux is kind of a good one off and then Reinhardt, but I overall, it just seems though the Florida guys are just a little bit worse, you know? So, um, what was I going to say? Uh, I just did watch something else, um, come to pass over here. So I have to see, is that news that just kind of came in? I think so. Um, I just, I just wonder, I just wonder about this ownership, you know, I just, but we'll, we'll, we'll fix it. We will, we, we, we will definitely fix it. Okay. That, 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 that I promise you. Um, okay. All right. Um, so Colorado, Calgary, those would be the first things I would do. So let's go ahead and just, let's build a lineup. You know, let's let's see, let's see if we can't figure out how to do this. Build a go over to hockey, DraftKings, and let's just do it. So we liked McKinnon, we liked Kadri, and who's it? Toffoli. That was how we were starting. Oh, it was Landis Scott, right? Oh, Toffoli was on uh, was on Calgary. Sorry. So it's Kadri, Landis Gog, Rantanen, and McKinnon. So let's put in Rantanen as well. So can we get away with this though? I mean, this is this is spending a lot of money. You know, if you did this. Right, then you are kind of asking for trouble. Let's see. Let's go for a full correlation. Let's put in uh, Kemper. Let's get really greedy. And can you do this? Can you play 34, 75 a man? I think you can, because remember, the first thing that I had mentioned was that you have that $3,600 best value on the slate in, in Toffoli. So it doesn't take, take a lot to play this way. And... If you want to save a little bit on the goalie by just taking somebody else, I mean, I'm not too much of a stickler for goalies, um, then you can certainly get away with that. Um, I 
Let's take a look at the defense spend according to my sheets and see if there, anybody stands out here. Um, you don't really see them too much at the top. Um, you usually have to kind of hunt by point per dollar to find those cheapo defensemen. Um, and there you go. You got the, the Gudis, you got Fairbury. I can't pronounce these guys. Mike Matheson. But you, so you could do this. Now, I've heard that it's not usually the greatest idea to, to, to punt defensemen, but you know, fortunately, I'm not going to listen to too many people right now. I'm kind of happy with what I'm doing on my own. So I probably would end up double punting at defense just to kind of make this Colorado thing work. Um, yeah, so that's kind of a, a good start. Just to see what a Calgary thing would look like if I opted to go that route. Then what we're looking at is Goudreau to Foley. Um, Got to re-rank my value score again. Kachuk, Kachuk, Goudreau, Lindholm. So it looks something like this. So you have these four guys. And now let's say you wanted to correlate the marks, just for example. I mean, it's certainly easier to get these guys, in, right? Um, these just guys are cheaper. Um, so what you could do if you want it, I mean, you, could double, you could play with both of them. You know, you could play, probably can't do this, McKinnon. I mean, you could, now you're, now you're punting again, but that's fine. So you could play <coughs> McKinnon by himself and all these other Calgary's and uh, be kind of okay. Um, and then again, you want to put a utility alongside of Colorado, like one of these guys we mentioned. Um, I, you know, you can't play Landeskog. I mean, you could probably actually, and then like really pay down for those two punts. Um, so maybe that's the idea actually. Um, Let's take a look at SaberSim and see what that will do for us. So we're going to put our ownership in here. We're going to put everything in. I've done this before already. And then we're going to build 30 lineups and see what we get and see if that's the same. So what I'm expecting to get is Calgary's or um, Colorado's. Sometimes, again, it depends on the Saber Sims mood. Sometimes it's not in the mood to give you what you want. Sometimes it's in Uber leverage mode. You know? Let's see what it does. So here we get a whole bunch of Colorado and a whole bunch of Calgary. So no, no surprises. Um, okay. So we're going to double check ownership as we get a little bit closer to lock, but it looks to be kind of a Calgary, Colorado type of day. Um, I'll be around at six to go over some more of this stuff and uh, that'll do it.